In the second part of limiting reactant, let's have some more examples. So here we have a reaction mixture contains 42.5 gram magnesium and 33.8 grams oxygen. What is the limiting reactant? So here we have the chemical reaction. 2Mg plus O2 gives us 2MgO. And these are the amounts that are available. 42.5 grams magnesium and 33.8 oxygen. So first of all, we need to calculate the number of moles of each of them. So the atomic mass of magnesium is 24.31 grams. If we divide it by that, and then we can say, based on this reaction, 2Mg results in 2MgO. So that's the molar ratio. And then we can figure out which one is lower. So here we have um, grams of oxygen. Grams of oxygen, we need to divide it by atomic mass to find the number of moles. And then based on this molar ratio, we can estimate which one is the limiting reactant. So we have the molar mass for MgO2 and 2 mole Mg is equivalent to 2 mole MgO, 1 mole O2 equivalent to 2 mole MgO. And the molar mass of MgO is 40.31 grams MgO. So these are the available amount so if we divide it by atomic mass of magnesium, and here we have this molar ratio, we can say it results in 1.7483 moles MgO. On the other hand, for oxygen, if you do the same thing and divide it by atomic mass and find the mo uh, number of moles of oxygen, and based on this molar ratio, we can estimate how much MgO we can produce. So as you see here, we will produce less amount of MgO with this amount so we can say that's the limiting reactant because least amount of product is reduced so here we have the number of moles of MgO produced if we multiply it by molar mass we can find the, the amount of MgO next example ammonia can be synthesized by the following reaction starting with 86.3 grams NO and 25.6 grams hydrogen. Find the theoretical yield of ammonia in grams. So we have NO and H2, it results in ammonia and water. So here we have the amount of NO and hydrogen, 86.3 grams NO and 25.6 grams hydrogen. As you see here, the molar ratio, two moles of NO plus five moles of hydrogen, it results in two moles of ammonia so as you see here we need to divide it by atomic mass of NO and on the other hand we have divided by atomic mass of hydrogen find the number of moles of each of them and then we can estimate how much ammonia we can produce so it is 6.3 grams NO divided by atomic mass and do the molar ratio we can estimate we will produce 2.8757 moles NH3 on the other hand, for hydrogen, we have 25.6 grams hydrogen divided by atomic mass, and two moles of five sorry five moles of hydrogen will produce two moles of ammonia. If we go back here, we can see that five moles of hydrogen results in two moles of ammonia, and then we will produce 5.0693 moles of ammonia. So that's the least amount of product produced. So the NO is limiting reactant and then after that we can multiply it by molar mass to find the, the amount of ammonia produced next example when 28.6 kilograms of C reacts with 88.2 kilograms of titanium dioxide 42.8 kilograms of titanium is produced find the limiting reactant theoretical yield and percent yield so here you have the reaction, one mole of titanium dioxide plus two moles of carbon results in one mole of titanium plus two moles of carbon monoxide. So we have the amount of carbon and titanium dioxide. Here we have kilograms of 
<clears throat> C, first of all, we need to multiply, um, convert it to grams and then grams to mole. And then we can find the number of moles of titanium produced. On the other hand, we have kilogram of titanium dioxide converted to grams, grams to mold, and mold to titanium. Then we compare them and find which one is the limiting, which of these is the limiting reactant. So we have 28.6 kilogram carbon multiplied by 1000 for this conversion factor to find number of grams. Then we divide it by atomic mass. And here we have the molar ratio. As you see here, two moles of C results in one mole of titanium, as we have it here. And then we will see we have 1.1907 times 10 power 3 moles of titanium produced. On the other hand, we have titanium dioxide, 88.2 kilograms, multiplied by 1000, then divided by molar mass, and then this we have this molar ratio. One mole of titanium dioxide results in one mole of titanium, based on this reaction. So we will see that we produce 1.1043 times 10 power 3 moles of titanium. So that's the limiting reactant, because this one is lower or smaller than this guy. So we stick to this one and find the amount of titanium produced. So this value is theoretical. So based on theory, if we have 100% yield, we will produce 52.9 kilograms titanium. But in reality, the yield is not 100%. So then we can use this equation to find the percentage of yield, actual yield divided by theoretical yield, times 100%. So what's the actual yield? We need to check it here. The actual yield is 42.8 kilograms of titanium dioxide. We put it here and theoretical yield, we have it here 52.9 multiplied by 100%. So we can say the percent yield is 80.9%.